A, A, see you in church. Hi, I'm Manuel, and don't forget to subscribe, leave a message, and put that hand up, because I do it right away, because I know usually I don't remember to do it later, and I feel bad that I might have enjoyed the conversation, whatever, and didn't leave a message or put the hand up at least because it was good. And if it sucked, I don't remember to do that either. So let me know what you think. Anyway, there was a show I've been waiting for. I was been excited. Last year they had it. Oh, Taco Kitty, it disappeared. I love this shirt. He's just so cute. If I had a kitty, I'd make him a Taco Kitty shirt. Taco Kitty Halloween outfit and we'd go trick-or-treating. I just wouldn't let anybody eat him. <laughs> anyway, um, I've been waiting for this show to show up. And it hadn't shown up all of a sudden. It did. It's the mask. And I loved last year's mask, but this year's, it's going a little quick. And But I'm enjoying it. It's really good. And it's just so fun. You're trying to guess. So far, I've guessed one on masking. But I don't know. It's just so fun and it's, you watch it and you're guessing and everything and it's just so much fun. You see what the person, because I think they get to choose their outfits. They're not forcing them to um, turn into that character or anything. So that's what the fun of it is. They had um, that ice skater. And I knew it was him. I was like, oh, I know it's who that is. And it's because of all his little hints. It just leaned towards that. And I watched his, um, his. I think it was an HBO series. I'm not too sure. But it was really good. I enjoyed it. I have it. And I watched that. Um, if my mother was still alive, this is the kind of shows we enjoyed we would sit and watch and then we would have conversation with each other because I find nowadays people don't know how to talk to each other anymore. You just have people there text messaging to each other and you're right next to the person. I'm like, oh, who the hell are you text messaging? Oh, I'm text messaging my wife. Well, then walk over there. <laughs> I'm like, your phone's going to go dead. Your kid's called because there's an emergency and they can't get hold of you because you've been to your wife who's just a couple of steps away that's just stupid but whatever i rather talk to a person well actually i don't like to talk to be honest but you wouldn't believe that but it's true i'm not i'm not usually a person that's that outgoing but i've been trying to be that person when I go with my friends, I go and enjoy their their conversation. My problem is, is that everybody thinks that I want everybody to think the way I do. No, I don't. Conversation is boring if you think the way I do. I want you to have your own personality. I want to hear what you're, what you think, because um, I know f I have friends that are always saying that and I'm like when have I ever I said I believe what I believe and you can't change your mind unless I know you're right then I'll say oh okay you're right but that's sparingly true and it gets them angry because I'm right <laughs> you know, are you happy you're always right and I go uh-huh <laughs> It makes them so bad, but I don't care. Why should I care? I'm not trying to make them think like me. 
if the you know i think go ahead believe what you want to believe i don't care i'm not here trying to make you into another manual or whatever it, it would be boring i like hearing what other pen, people's opinion are and i i listen to them i've had friends that have the dumbest dumbest opinions and then they find later on and it's not because of me I've told them and they refuse to listen and then they he they see that I was right. But they're not going to go tell me, oh, you're always right. Which some do say that. But in reality, you know, what can I say? You're wrong. You're wrong. But I'm not going to rub your nose in it like in, like you do to your dog so your dog doesn't do it there anymore or whatever. Some people do that. But the reality is, I want to hear your opinion. It might be wrong and I might be able to punch holes in what you're saying. But it's, it's better to hear what you're saying and listen because not all the time I know anything about that conversation. Like, for instance, if somebody was there talking about robotics and whatever, I don't know anything about robotics, but it's interesting to listen to what some people are talking about because they really, their eyes light up and everything. And, you know, this person is excited about that conversation and it makes it exciting for you, too. But if you are in like um, we used to do little parties and there'd be like groups of different people there. And if you didn't like a conversation that was going on there, you could move over to another conversation and you might find it interesting or you might not. Who knows? I met lots of different and strange people because of conversation. But that's really, you know, up to you. If you don't want to have any you know, the way it is nowadays, nobody's having any conversations at all. It used to be a group of me, a group, my group would go and see a movie. Then right after the movie, we'd go and eat and we talk and have a great conversation. Eating and enjoying each other's conversation, um, you know, enjoying each other's being there, talking, and getting through it, and everybody look at me, and I'm like, what? Well, you're not saying anything. I said, well, you guys are saying what I was thinking. Why would I repeat what you already said? Or if I had an opinion different, I would say, I don't think so. Like, what's going to come out is cats. I don't want to go see that have no desire to see that why it's going to have the best singer there is yes it is but the storyline has been changed tremendously the outfits the beautiful striped hand painted outfits are now greasy <laughs> greasy fur and hardly anything it, it just does not impress me from what I've seen, I'm not impressed in any form or fashion, not even really interested in seeing it now. It's going to take a lot to get me to go. I do want to go see Mr. Rogers and everything, and I'm completely excited about this new the show coming back, The Mask. It's just so fun. You can try to think who these people are, and when they get unmasked, you're like, I didn't know it was going to be her or, oh, I didn't know it was him. The person that I, I'm here on YouTube and they are supposed to be a guy that, that, um, plays video games and they call him the ninja. He's, he was one of the people that they unmasked and I was surprised. I was like, who is that? All the people were there going, oh, my son is going to be so, 
you know, jealous. I got to meet the ninja, you know, and I'm laughing. I think it's funny. Uh, these people are just like going all crazy and everything. And I have no idea what he's talk they're talking about because I don't watch the ninja. There's a couple of other gamers I w was trying to watch, but YouTube has gotten so tremendously crazy where they're pushing other people onto your site that you were never interested in seeing and you don't really care about. But they want you to try to see it. And I don't want to. And I guess what? I don't watch it. I've been watching a lot of The Mask. I saw two episodes. That meant I missed two. But I hadn't seen the... the um, it didn't come up like other shows do when they got new episodes like um, The Rookie. I stopped watching The Rookie and I forgot. And uh, I saw it was on. My roommate is watching The Rookie. And I was like, oh, The Rookie's on. Do you want to see The Rookie? I'll go and I'll start getting stuff ready for uh, pasta salad. And then you'll do the pasta. And I went over and I put the rookie on for him and he didn't want to see it. It just annoyed the bleep on me because I have no desire to see it. I remembered why. I said, if he lets his boss die, I won't bother with this show anymore. And he let the boss die. Same thing I did with, what was it? The, the one with um, the young man, he um, had powers and he killed his girlfriend for the guy who, for the girl who raped him and got pregnant i was like oh hell no one she gets a power she doesn't even want she becomes what the same thing that girl is and she showed her excuse me without even using her power because when they have the witch's power their face gets all old and shriveled she didn't even get old she just went bloom 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 and then without even attempting to use any of her powers kicked the shit out of that bitch and the bitch ran away <laughs> i was like whoa but when he allowed her to get killed, that just went, screw that. Not going to watch that piece of crap. And I didn't see it. Everybody said, oh, well, she came back. I'm like, but he let her die. That was my problem. Not that she died, that he let, he killed her to protect the whore who raped him and then got pregnant. I don't care if that's his baby. It could be the devil's baby. The point is, is that your girl fiance, you just killed or let get killed. Now that little bitch, I would have beat the living daylights out of her. Yes, I liked her character. But the point is, is that she needed a few steps knocked out of her ass because guess what? You got to act like a human. And that's my point. That show went off the range and I just said, screw that. I'm not watching this. And I didn't. I stopped. That's the way I am. I don't usually go back. It's like The Walking Dead. That thing went, it got boring. It really got boring. I watched the second one. I've been watching that one. And that one was interesting. I haven't gone back to watch it, but I... I didn't stop for a reason. I just, my mom passed away and we watched it together. She liked the original one, but it got dumb. We've been watching the other one and that one's more interesting. And then she passed away and I just haven't gone back to seeing it. But see, that's the thing. But the mask, it's fun. It's something that she would have loved. It's exciting. It's new. And it's fun. And I'm sure I'm going to continue to watch. Um, because I'm enjoying it. It's fun. But what do you think? Have you watched any of them? If you haven't, and if you have Hulu, you can go and start from the beginning and watch through. 
and I don't know what channel it is, but on certain channels, you can watch the old episodes. You just can't watch the new one on the day it's released unless you purchase that channel and then you've been paying them to watch it while it's happening because um, we used to um, get regular TV and we could have the antenna and all that stuff because we had the box that had unscrambled. And we were doing that and we were also doing the Apple TV, that little box. And we were watching um, cable on that because we there we don't see sports there's no purpose to be paying that kind of money for sports and all that kind of stuff for me i want to see it live there's only a few things i can actually sit down and watch i can sit and watch boxing i can sit and watch wrestling i rather see it live but i can see and watch it roller derby stuff like that i can sit and watch but basketball baseball football there's stuff going on at the other end that you miss and they don't want you to see that over there two of the guys are beating the living daylights out of them because they got the camera over here where the football is or the basketball and that's my point i'd rather be there for those kind of game and the baseball even soccer I used to be a big soccer fan. I used to know all the rules and everything on playing soccer. And I'll be watching something and my brother, I tell him, not in soccer, like in basketball. And I go, mm, double dribble. And he looks at me like, and then a few seconds later, the whatever you call the person that's there in the striped shirt says, double dribble, drop this hanky. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the exact same thing I did traveling drops the hanking traveling you know and it's just funny and he looks at me like what and I'm like okay whatever and because that's just the thing it is you know I liked those games live my brother um, Timo who's no longer alive we w got tickets and we used to go and watch it. We used to go and watch hockey, and it used to be called Roadrunner Hockey here. And it used to love, love, love it. Now I think it's Coyote Hockey, and it's just I don't know. I can't th throw a stone or say it's good because I don't watch that. I used to be a Roadrunner Hockey fan, and when they slam them against the glass, we would be and my brother would get all like, and we'd laugh and we have a great time, and have a hot dog and popcorn but you know those are the olden days now eh, everything's gotten so politically incorrect and whatever and whatever but that's the reality of things people don't hang out with each other like they used to people don't talk people don't this people don't that but that's the reality i miss it dinner parties that I used to go with with friends and everything I miss that too I stopped doing it because I was there taking care of my mom instead of being sociable like I used to be but I chose her over that but that's my choice but for me and her we used to watch those shows we were sociable with each other we talked we shared I got to know stuff that you know probably shouldn't have found out but what can I say I'm not going to throw stones those are her stones and she's no longer with us but the reality is the reality but anyway tell me what do you think do you do you like the show have you seen any of it and if you do see it come back and tell me if you liked it or leave a message remember to subscribe to my channel put the hand up and leave a message tell me about how do you feel about that show but don't forget aa see you in church